three powerful lessons to learn from. Lessons to learn from an ant, lessons to learn from a grasshopper, and lessons to learn from a bee. I should begin with the story of the fishman. Most of us know the fisherman's job is to fish and catch fish. But this particular special fisherman had a mindset of his own. He had a small container and he got a whole lot of fish. But what did he do with the big fish that he got? They didn't fit into the container, they overflowed. So since he was not comfortable carrying a big fish in a small container, he threw it back into the river. Because and he lost a lot of opportunities and he also lost a chance to change his lifestyle and income. Many of us have overwhelming concerns and anxiety when it comes to saying okay to something big because we take counsels of our fear, of our doubts and we want to be comfortable in our own container. And this is how the fishermen really used to do things. Regularly caught fish and you caught the big ones threw it back into the river. So when we are in our comfort zone and when they lost to change and learn and relearn, we tend to make that mistakes. And let us take the story of the ant. The ants work as a team. They also work, ask for help when they have something big to carry. They share the burden. They also work hard throughout to throughout in a manner so that they save for the winter. But let us look at the grasshopper. It spends its time freely dancing around and does not store food. It does not cultivate the habit of saving. And when winter comes, it has a hard time. So is it with us if we do not manage our finances and we are not aware of basic financial awareness. Let us look at these instances. Example. Uh, let's say the lady's name who is a widow is Shanti and she she lost her husband suddenly and she was not even aware of a whole lot of things. He was a contractor and he left no written note from where he borrowed, from whom he borrowed etc. And in came in people asking her that he owed a lot of money and they wanted it back. She was totally caught unaware because she was not kept informed. Lesson number two is when it comes to managing finances, it's always better to have it in writing. Be it your bank account, be it anything, have it down your account and everything down in writing so that you have clear proof of what you hold and what you don't hold and who you, who you have made the nomination for. And always see that someone in the family is aware of it. And also we have lessons from the bee. The bee just to get a drop of honey works constantly and regularly without asking for favors. It puts in the work 
that it has to do to gather honey and yes it, and the ripple effect of the bee is very productive for mankind we all know the bees don't exist mankind to stop existing so we have to learn to give more without expectations and also we we have to change a lot of things when it comes to relearning our habits um our mindset and the way we look at things when uh, we are looking at how when i was teaching class 4 and i just had to take a topic on how to study it was something that was students felt was that they just had to read set aside something for study but when you study you have to set aside a time you also have to set aside you have to test what you have studied you also have to question what you have studied and to make clear that you know all the questions from what when how for which etc similarities differences reasoning and what's familiar and what what is what are the differences etc and similarities you also have to know why you are learning that topic and how you can integrate it in real life here comes as a career counselor i would like to tell you when you are students of art it's no harm reading science and if you're a student of com and even commerce book because you get to learn a lot of practical life and in in these things when any when we do study we are also learning to conquer our mindset and habits and also to overcome our own feeling of i cannot do or any doubts that we have we, we can overcome these by constantly checking our thought process we can put a stop watch and we can say stop whenever we feel we are getting thoughts of let downs we also can be calm after that we can deep breathe and be calm and establish the feeling and also realign ourselves with the purpose for for understanding not only our sins but when we get recurring thoughts of be, of being put down or let down we have to stop it with a stop watch we need to say stop it doesn't matter at times when we get those recurring thoughts of disappointment and the uh, feeling of being let down we can not only say stop but we can also deep breathe and calm ourselves and get back to being present in whatever we are doing instead of our time uh, being wasted in recurring thoughts it's important to use the top stop stoppage by saying stop whenever you get these unhealthy filters that are constantly recurring thoughts and you're not able to resolve it yes being human making mistakes is a good thing and also learning from our mistakes is a good thing and also finding a solution which is a win win situation to challenges is also a very excellent thing so taking lessons from nature from the way we look at life when we look look at the life around us we also have to learn that we we can take away lessons from different characters in life and also people who we get along with and who we don't get along with there's something to learn from each one of them and it is indeed a lifelong process where we learn not only from whom we whom we admire also from those 
who who give us a bulb on moment when where we can learn something valuable hi i'm sima bahri and today i i was talking about a few things that where we can learn from nature and we can also build our own personality through nature and also putting a stop watch to the recurring thoughts which diverts us from pr- productivity thank you and below i shall be giving a link for the free download you can go to that link now. thank you